very good. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, ready? <laughs> hey, I'm Alexandra, home editor at Chatelaine, and this is The Home Primp, where I make over spaces on a serious budget. This is our main bathroom. It's really small, but it's got great bones. It has an original cloth of a tub, all white walls, and this really cool bamboo vinyl flooring, but it's lacking personality, color, and pattern. All things that you want in a small space. So I'm here to primp it for less than $250. Let's get started with the toughest part, organizing this overflowing cabinet. When you don't have a lot of space to work with, keeping everything organized is as easy as investing in a few containers and a label maker. Containers like these are perfect for storing those small bits and pieces like hair ties and makeup. Amber apothecary bottles are really inexpensive and great for housing body lotion and face toner that's too tall to fit in a cupboard. Plus, it makes everything look more uniform. A couple of decorative baskets and jars at the bottom are great for cotton pads and Q-tips. Look how much more organized this cabinet looks now. And a quick knob change finishes it all off. For the longest time, I was using this oversized container for our first aid kit that was taking up way too much space in our limited cupboards. Finally, I found this amazing medicine tin at a vintage store. There's a similar one linked down below. Art is a fun way to accessorize a bathroom. Just make sure it's in a tightly sealed frame and you're winning at life. I use this print in my gallery wall video, which is just a simple greeting card in an Ikea frame. Onto the sink. One of the biggest struggles I hear from renters is what to do with ugly bathroom or kitchen tile. I found this awesome peel and stick tile, which can be removed with a hairdryer without leaving any residue. It can also be installed over existing tile. And bonus, it cost me just $56 to cover this whole area. Dreamy pink bathroom, complete. I'm using another apothecary bottle to hold hand soap, which I like to buy in bulk to cut down on waste. Changing the lighting can hugely impact the overall look of your space. I'm swapping this old sconce out with a more modern fixture that was only $18. So sleek. This wall has seen better days. It's got a few holes from where I removed a floating shelf and towel rod this weekend. Here's me in deconstruction mode. This is what we're using to fill the holes. It's called sp Spackling Polyfilla. <laughs> and um, I just got a really cheap one of these, what are these called? Putty knives. Um, it's plastic, it was like $2. And it looks like, it looks like whipped cream actually. It's like Greek yogurt or something. So just take a bit like this, and then you just wanna like this. After you patch the holes up, let it dry overnight and then sand them down. Now that this wall is bare, I'm going to add a sculptural pop with some large graphic hooks. And just like that, a place to hang towels that also looks lovely. When they're not in use, they're going to double as wall art. If you have very little cupboard space like me, you probably know that storing toilet paper is next to impossible. So, find a decorative basket and you've got a pretty place to store the entire bag at once. I'm placing the basket on top of the stool from HomeSense to add height and extra storage. My biggest tip when it comes to updating a small space is to outfit it with bright, fresh color. Or, you know, cover it entirely in flamingo wallpaper. But if you're not keen on painting the whole space, paint the back of the door. Subtle and cost efficient. Here's how I did it DIY style. I do have to sand down the door, so it's really distressed, kind of uneven. I've always loved how it looks really distressed, but um, yeah, I'm gonna use a hand sander. It's way easier than just using like a piece of sandpaper to make it all even, and then I'm gonna start painting. This is the color. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Oh yeah. And here's the door. Right, right? This accent door is going to act as the jumping off point for the rest of this bathroom's decor. I've also taken the silver hooks that were there and spray painted them gold. Little updates like these always make such a huge impact. Shower hooks are easily overlooked, 
but just this once, be sure to sweat the little details. I'm swapping out these guys for a beautiful gold set. Just $7 and they make such a difference. I'm using them to hang this bold and beautiful shower curtain. This is the priciest accessory in this video, but if there's one thing you should splurge on in your bathroom, it's this because it goes such a long way in a small space. And now for the finishing touches. A fun bath mat and a snazzy gold garbage can. And here is the final space. I love how this accent door pops with the shower curtain and look at this gallery wall of hooks, so cute. Giving your bathroom a quick organize will make mornings so much easier. A tiny succulent adds a cute pop of green, plus these are super low maintenance plants. By the way, is there anything better than pastel toothbrushes? Toilet paper has never looked more chic. Thanks so much for watching The Home Primp. Be sure to like this video, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss any updates. See you next time. Come on, Marty, let's go take a bubble bath. You wanna take a bubble bath?